Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello and welcome back My name is Isa Hamza Bilal uh, Today I kind of want to speak a little bit about my journey to Islam uh, I recently converted to Islam in about mid-August 2010, this year uh, During the month of Ramadan And so far it's been great, you know, I feel, I feel a whole lot better you know, I actually feel like I'm, I'm getting to uh, to know the creator of the heavens and the earth, Allah, the one and one true God, the only one worthy of worship. And uh, know that we do not associate uh, partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, um, you know, growing up in the United States, uh, I was born here, raised here. Uh, I'm a veteran. And as many people know, you know the United States is pretty much a a uh, Christian based uh, uh, country and you know it, it's either you see Christians or or Catholics you know that's that's pretty much what I grew up around but um, my family in particular you know they, they they were more into the Christian faith and although you know we, we went to church we didn't go to uh, to church often we didn't go to church often, um, but you know, every once in a while, I would read the Bible or you know, whatever, try to get into into a, a Christianity. But nothing really like satisfied me about Christianity, and and I, I don't want to make any Christians or, or Catholics or anybody feel bad. I'm not here to, to to bash you know what you believe or anything of that nature. That's that's not the point here. But for me personally, I just I. I really didn't feel the connection with Christianity but but about two years ago I you know started studying with uh, the Jehovah Witnesses and you know my brother is a Jehovah Witness and he always asked me to like go to the Kingdom Hall with him and and uh, you know do more studying and, and go out knocking door to door and try to get into that stuff but personally for me, I just, I really wasn't into that. And although I did study every, uh, I think it was every week I would have, uh, you know, one of the uh, the elders or somebody from the congregation did come over to the house and we'd do a little studies, uh, you know, on the Bible. I did this for about two years. But I just, you know, like I said earlier, I... I just didn't feel the connection with with uh, Christianity. I, I don't know what it was. I, I I couldn't tell you what it was. You know, uh, like even you know Christians they say whenever you pray you have to pray to Jesus Christ. You know, as, as the uh, middleman, and Jesus is the one who will present your prayers to 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 God. But even in my prayers, while I was you know uh, learning and studying about uh, Christianity even subconsciously I still couldn't even pray to Jesus I would always pray to God I don't know maybe it's uh, because there was something embedded in me to make me uh, have this sense that there's only one God but back in 2004 or excuse me 2003 once I had uh, left the army I was in New York that's where I was living and um, I was working and one of my friends at, at, at the job had asked me to uh, come to the mosque and and see if I liked it and you know just just kind of get a feel for it you know he didn't say go over there and you have to become a Muslim or anything like that but I went over there and it was during the month of Ramadan and mind you I was a uh, well I was 21 years old at the time but I just didn't feel like I really wanted to 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 do, you know, uh, the the Muslim thing or the Islamic thing. I didn't want to get into it. You know, it was during the month of Ramadan. You know, I'm Puerto Rican, so I eat. You know, they they they're fasting, and I'm like, well, you know, I want to eat. You know, but that was just my own stupidity and lack of knowledge. But um, you know, ironically, six years later on the month of Ramadan is when I took my Shahada and that is here in, in Kissimmee Florida I took my Shahada 
and I haven't been happier. I mean, just just knowing the things that I've known now, like I've learned so much more in Islam that I have ever in my entire life being around Christians. And and like I said, you know, I, I've studied the the Christian Bible. I've studied um, the Catholic Bible. I mean, they're pretty much the same. There's so many different revisions, revisions, and revisions and revisions of the uh, of the Bible that. I just, I don't understand how in one Bible it says one thing and the other Bible says another and they're both from the same Bible. They're, they're two of the same Bibles except in within the contents there's different information. For example, the King James Version, uh, the Gospel of John, the very first chapter, very first verse. It says, uh, in the beginning the word was with God, and the word was God, was God, the word was God, okay? And in the Jehovah Witness Bible, the New World Translation, which is also a Christian Bible, it says that the word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was a God. So you have... The King James Version that claims that Jesus was God, then that that's what a capital G, and we all know, you know, from uh, from English grammar that if you add a capital to something, or excuse me, if you add the capital G to God, we're talking about the one and one God alone, all right, and that's how it, how it's uh, presented in the King James Version. Now, in the in New World Trans, uh, Translation, which is from the Jehovah Witnesses, it states that Jesus was like a God. A God, which is the word. Jesus was the word. So, Jesus was like a God with a lowercase g. So, you know, in a way, the, the New World Translation has it right. You know, because we know, Muslims know, that Jesus was a prophet and one of the, mo uh, you know, the mightiest messengers of Allah, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. But you know, just these little little discrepancies that I have found in the in the Bible, I I just I cannot believe, and that's just something that that proves to me that the Bible was, you know, inspired by God. Yes, definitely. I mean, I, we don't claim that that the entire book is false, no, but it has been altered by men. They have taken out. They have made mistakes, they have added, they have made mistakes of the mistakes. You know, it's just mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. And if you uh, if you really want to know in detail these uh, types of mistakes, just look for Bart Ehrman, Bart Ehrman on YouTube and watch his lectures. He would really, really explain it to you. You know, and it was Christianity that kind of drove me away from Christianity. So I don't I don't want to say that oh I'm, I'm you know I'm forced to 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 go into Islam because any true Islam Islamic person would never ever ask anybody or tell someone you better be a Muslim that would never happen there's no compulsion in religion you know so but um I took my shahada and um when was it like I said yep yeah, mid, uh, mid August took my shahada and ever since, I've learned a great deal about Christianity. I've learned a lot about Islam. I've um, I've studied a, a whole lot more. I, I've prayed to Allah, you know, a whole lot more. I've I've I really feel a connection now with uh, with the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And I, I you know I feel good. I feel close. I, it 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 just takes so much stress away knowing that I can just you know talk to, to God by myself that I don't have to talk to Jesus in order for God to hear me I just think that's a little ridiculous but um you know hopefully this uh, information here was uh, informative and that you may go to the Bible and try to do a little bit of your own research and see that I'm not lying when I say that I find these dis uh, discrepancies but until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.